Good morning, everyone. Nice to see everyone this morning. We're going to get into the stock review. But prior to that, I think I, I really need to set the premise of what this stock review um, really made me realize that what's currently going on has been going on in America for like the past 30 years or so when it comes to economics, when it comes to producing products, when it comes to retail, when it comes to computing power, when it comes to everything that essentially America used to create and make that we no longer do. At one point in time, America used to create, make, and sell 90% of the world's products. Uh, the same way we view China is today when you look at every single thing, whether it be uh, your phone but not the computer chips within it how china essentially makes everything every apparatus every uh product you know anything that you can possibly pick up we understand that china makes it and i think that's important that we understand that at one point in time countries like russia countries like china used to be socialist companies i mean excuse me uh socialist countries and now they are capitalists but we're going to get into it family we're going to break it down. We're also going to talk about this Chinese stock that I really think you can make some good money off of. But I just want to give you some context of how the world has shifted in the last 30 years or so. All right. Good morning, everyone. So first and foremost, I want to start off this with one of um, the great Dr. Claude Anderson's. He's still alive. He's still preaching and teaching um, black economics, black group economics, black empowerment, poweronomics. I absolutely love this guy. I love everything. I, I love the way his mind works. So uh, YouTube, fair use, fair use. This is for educational purposes only. Um, I want the, um, the family to hear this from the great mind of Dr. Claude Anderson. Please listen, family. And the other, the other opposition is that what you own nothing, then you don't have to worry about it. That's called socialism, oh. where the government owns everything. Then and, and the profit goes to the government. Yeah. yeah. See, if, if that were to happen, see, then, then then black folk would become an island of socialism in an ocean of capitalism. See, for instance, uh, the Russia was used to be a socialistic country. They're going capitalistic now. China was a was a socialistic country. They've gone capitalistic now. Where China, even when I was with President Carter. China was pretty much a backwards country at that time, you know, way back in the 1960s, 1970s. But now they're a leading nation where we where, where we have to lend them money. Now we have borrowed money from them. Do you know why? They went capitalistic. Right now, 57% of China produces, we buy it from them. And what we've done now, we, they're transferring, they're taking the money out of this country and putting it in China. We, and we were foolish enough to play a game about not being capitalistic. We gave away all our industries. We used, to, we, used to, we, would, we used to produce about 97% of all the commercial products in the world. Now we don't produce a damn thing except maybe the silicon chip out there. Now all of our money is going to Taiwan, China. We buy 57%, 47% of all the, everything that India produces. Taiwan, South Korea, all the shoes. We used to produce all the radios, TVs, movies, cameras, everything. We don't produce a damn thing now because we don't want to be capitalistic. You better become capitalistic. You got you to be able to make a profit because you got to pay. Fair use. So right now, people in those foreign countries that came in and starting in the 1950s, when we started moving away from it, we started integrating and all, and all those big and major industries moved into third world countries. And so now those third world countries got your money. We are buying products from them and half those products will even work. I could not well, say it better bad. myself. So I had the great Dr. Claude Anderson said for me. And with that being said, of course, this video is going to be very contradictory from what you just saw. But that is the way how America is nowadays, that if you notice um, more times than not, when I do certain stocks, I believe that I've covered a lot of when it comes to read it, uh, retail uh, production, produce, as far as um, producing certain apparatuses, everything that I could possibly pick up on this on my uh, desk here, ladies and gentlemen has essentially has been made in China. Because for the past 30 years, I mean, either this old school calculator has been made in China for the past 30 years, China has been the producers of the world, and especially for America, over 90%. So that is where the money is. Now, 
Granted, I thought about this, and I, again, family, I, I want to tell you how contradictory this video is because not only I'm going to tell you by investing in Chinese companies, you make China a more powerful nation, but yet again, there's no companies in America that you can essentially invest in without investing in China. Whether it be Walmart or Amazon or Target, when you get those products and you pick them up, what does those products say? They say made in China, made in Taiwan. So essentially, uh, you could be investing in Walmart, but the byproduct of you investing in Walmart is you investing in China. So instead of investing in a third party company, just cut out the middleman and invest in the Chinese company itself. I mean, <laughs> at this point, it is a conundrum that we're all trapped in. So I'm trying to give you the information for you to make the best bang out of your buck. Now, with that being said, let's look at this company called Dada Nexus. Not to be confused with the New York clothing line, old school Dada, but the Chinese retail company Dada Nexus. Now, this stock came out in 2020 on June 5th, and currently it's been down $37.38. And the past year has been down 70%. The past three months has been down 38%. The past month has been down around 24.3%. The past week has been down 11%. And then today is around 14%. Now, automatically, you guys are like, Ross, this stock has shown no movement. It has not done anything that really gives us an indicator to buy, buy, buy. Wait for it. This may be one you want to buy. This may be a one you want to stay away with. But nonetheless, here we go. Dot on Next provide a platform for local on-demand retail and delivery in China. The company operates JD, a local on-demand retail platform, and a Dada Now, a local on-demand delivery platform in China. It says where it was uh, essentially created and founded back in 2014 in Shanghai. And we see the market capitalization is around $3 billion. I'm just rounding up here, but $2.68 billion is the market capitalization. Now, the 52-week high was $50, and today's high is around $12.88. Now, the 52-week low is around $11.04, and currently we're still in $11 mark. So there's a lot of room for growth here, ladies and gentlemen. We see that the movement value, the average value is 1.56 million. And that's something to really take a stake at, take a really good look at. Now, the analyst rating out of Robinhood is buy at 92%, okay? 92% hold at 8% and sell at zero, okay? Why is Robinhood with a stock that has been decreasing essentially in the, the, the power of the stock market, each and every timeline, whether it be a year, a month, or a day, Dot on Nexus has been going down, down, down from the 52-week high of $50 per share. Now we're looking around $11.46 per share, but the analysts here are saying buy at 92%. Now, as we look at the earnings through the fiscal year 21, I'm going to show you some um, some prices, the gross amount of money that this company has made. But this is more so political than it is um, financial. Now, a lot of Chinese stocks, even Chinese EVs, are essentially on a chopping block with not only the Chinese government, but the American government. But a lot of these stocks are going to start turning very, very soon here. I'm going to get around 90 days. Look for the stock around 90 days. That's why I say you buy now and you earn later. And granted, I know a lot of you love stocks under $15 per share. You love stocks under $20 per share. These are one of those stocks where me personally, I bought two options, okay? I'm not really trying to get in bed with this stock long term. So I believe I bought two options that expire July 15, call options, okay? I believe that the stock is going up. Now, as we look at these other ones in comparison with Dada, we see AlibabaJD.com, which Dada has acquired, Neo and Xpeng, which are two EV electric companies. That kind of tell you the RAM that this particular one is in. Let's move on. Now, e investor relations, okay? Investor relations, we're going to get into that. Here is their quarterly finance for the third quarter of 2021. Now, and bear with me here, family. It says here, the Chinese leading local on-demand delivery and retail platform today 
announced its unaudited financial results for the third quarter of September 30th, 2021. Now, you see here the total gross merchandise volume, right? It says for 12 months ended in September 30th of last year, um, the WAN, that's the name of their money, RB, the WAN, $37.2 billion, which was an increase of 74.6 year over year from $21.3 billion in the same period of 2020. So they went up um, around 75% which um, increased around 12 to $13 billion. Now, uh, of course, we're talking about Chinese yuan, so I did the math for you guys. That's around $5 billion of an increase that they made from year to year. So again, this company is doing very, very well. Now, also, if you guys are not familiar with this, here are some of the partnerships that Dada Nexus is in bed with. Last year, I did a stock review on the JD Group. So essentially, they have acquired the JD Group. It also states here that the company partners with almost all the leading supermarket chains in China, including Walmart. Moreover, as one of the world's most reputable retail chain giants, Walmart Group extended its trust and support to us through its investments in our company and comprehensive strategic cooperation with us in 2020. So that tells you, not only does, is this company in partnership with Walmart, they supply Walmart with products as Walmart is investing in this company. Now, a lot of times when you see Chinese and American companies in partnership with, it's because one or two things are occurring or both. One is an investor in, inside of the other company or the other company is a buying their products. Now, we understand that everything in Walmart is made in China. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter what you buy. I bet you your I bet you your potato chips are made in China. No, I'm just kidding. But majority of the products in in Walmart are made in China. Majority of the products that are in Target is made in China. Majority of the products that you buy off your beloved Amazon is made in China. A uh, majority of your products that's uh, essentially that you buy from Wayfair is made in China. Majority of the products that you buy from Overstock is made in China. Now Etsy you kind of get about 25 to 35% of those things made in China because there's a lot of local and, and mom and pop shops on Etsy. But nonetheless, about 30%, a third of, of their products that you buy off Etsy are made in China, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, this is without a doubt um, a long-term or a long-call option for you guys to really make some money. And with the price under $12, I think you can catch this on a wave. I think you can catch this on a wave but you have to, this is going to be a long swing trade if you guys get into bed with them nonetheless, okay? So I'm, I'm just looking through my notes here. Give me one second because when I went over to Zach's and what I saw was their, their uh, prediction of this particular stock. They said that we have it at a hold. If you have the shares, hold on to it. Don't buy none. Don't sell none. For their style scores, they said D for value, C for growth, A for momentum, and C, overall BGM score. Now, for me, as I look at the financials of this company, as I look at the backings, as I look at the, the, the partnerships, as I look at the market capitalization, as I look at the future prediction, this is where you guys start to get into your Mensa, um, intelligent investor mindsets to think about buy low, ding, 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 sell high. So just like on NEO, um, a couple of years ago, I gave you guys NEO stock. But it's around three dollars per share. Now, don't be surprised if this stock is up to fifty to eighty dollars by the end of the year, and you're going to be banging yourself across the head because you know what Ross told me. Ross told me, but I just didn't think you know the information he gave me didn't convince me uh, enough. Well, like I said, I bought two options. Let me move on. Now, I want to give you some other information here that's going to be. Um, it may it may swing you one way or another. This is contradicting information as well. Okay. Because as we look at Yahoo Finance, we look at the performance outlook, right? We look short term, it seems though it's going to go up here in the next two months or so. But as we get saw to get into uh, May and we get spring and summer, it looks like it's going to go down, then it's going to move sideways, right? But there's some other information what I always tell you guys to look at the news stories. Headlines, if you want to dive a little bit deeper, please read the news story itself. But I was strolling here, it says seven days ago, on Newswire, it says Dada Group 
and Kimberly Clark strengthen partnership to create new growth. So I had to go and I look at Kimberly, uh, uh, Kimberly Clark China, right? But I'm looking at Kimberly Clark America because, again, this Kimberly Clark Corporation engages in the manufacture of marketing of products made from natural or synthetic fibers. It operates through the following segments, personal care, consumer tissue, Casey Professional, and all these other things, right? This was founded in 1872. So this company is over 100 years old, is in urban Texas, and has over 46,000 employees. The market capitalization is $48 billion. So this is a very, very rich company. Now you come down here to the analytics, excuse me, you come down here to the ratings of Robinhood, and it says buy at 10, hold at 75, and sell at only 15. For me personally, this is almost like an indication to buy when I see that the hold rating um, is over like 50 to 60% and the sale is under 25%. Most likely, if I'm interested in a stock like this, is this my forte? I'm going to go ahead and either, at least buy some option or maybe a couple of shares. But nonetheless, they are in bed with the Chinese company, Dada Nexus. So this is important to know all the partnerships and collaborations that this one company has. And again, if you go back to what Robin Hood was talking about, let me just scroll back up. Uh-oh. I'm showing you my, my business here. Give me a second, family. We got Dot on Nexus here. And we look at the market capitalization around $3 billion. And when you see the timeline, the only thing you see is that this stock has not been performing well at all, okay, throughout the timeline itself, right? But when you see the analyst ratings, you see buy at 92%, hold at 8%, don't sell the stock. You kind of wonder, like, what's going on in the stock market right now? I know ever since October, November, uh, my portfolio personally has taken a large hit. But that doesn't discourage me. I continue to invest because the stock market, time and time again, has always turned around and people have made, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. Well, if you're a billionaire, they make billions of dollars because they do large investments. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, none of this has deterred me from investing in this particular stock. Now, let me move on because I, I want to show you one more thing that Kimberly uh, Clark originally is an American, American multinational personal care corporation that produced uh, mostly paper-based consumer products. The company manufactures sanitary paper products and surgical and medical instruments. Again, this is an American company, once again, in bed with a Chinese company, just as Walmart, just as all these other companies, okay? Now, the thing you've been waiting for, what is the price prediction, okay? What is the price forecast of Dada Nexus? So, according to CNN Business, the low is $25, the median is $38, and the high is $48 with a surplus of 320%. Uh, in the next 12 months. Again, the current stock price is around $11.46, $11.45. But they're saying on the low end that this stock is going to go up at least 119% to $25. So ladies and gentlemen, you can more than double your money. You can more than double your money if you invest in this stock. Okay. Now, granted, I always give you guys all these particular stocks and me personally cannot invest in every single stock that I give you. It doesn't matter how passionate I am. It doesn't matter how good the, good the information is. I simply can't invest in every damn stock that I give you guys because every now and again, it's like, well, I didn't see you invest in it. Why should I invest in it? Family, I'm just giving you the information for you to go off and do better things with your life. Me personally, I can't invest in every stock that I give you. Now, last but not least, I haven't showed my portfolio in a while. And I will do today because, again, I want to show you how I stay steadfast in investing regardless of how the market is performing because history tells me that the market always comes back and it always breaks new records as it comes back. So with that being said, I show you all the good things. So I think it's only fair to show you some of the bad things. Now, in the past year, my portfolio has been down $6,000. I'll just roughly say $6,400. The past three months, I've been up only $121. The past month, I've been down $800. The past week, I've been uh, down, excuse me, up $30. <laughs> the past day, I've been up 
around $34 and a half. And then currently in the pre-market here, it looks that I'm up around 0.22%. But nonetheless, I will continue investing. Thank you guys for joining me here this morning. Good morning, Jermaine Anderson, Primex, and Wendell. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. But again, give this stock another look. I mean, go and do your own research, of course. But I do believe here in the next year that this stock will do very, very well. So with that being said, you guys have a great and wonderful day. This is Financial Literacy 101. Learn money and be inspired. You guys have a great one. I'm out.